This episode of Android Invasion is brought to you by Mezzi Grill and Carpe VM. Redmond to Cupertino, we have a problem. It's spreading. We're losing control over the entire system. We're being invaded. Invaded by air. There's nothing we can do. It's too late. Hey, and welcome to another episode of Android Invasion. Uh, today we're going to go over, I think it's about 17 quick tips and tricks. It might be stuff that you know or stuff that you might have no idea about. So I just want to bring it to your attention. Uh, and let's just uh, get on with it. Let's go straight into it. Uh, the first one um, is if you have somebody that you frequently dial or that you text message, uh, you might not know this, but you could go on anywhere in your home screen, tap in uh, open space on your home screen, tap uh, open space on your home screen, and then you're going to go to shortcuts. And then uh, it's going to give you a bunch of different options. Uh, you can make a shortcut for just about anything, including bookmarks, uh, certain settings, directions. Uh, it's really handy for directions too, um, I found. Uh, but what we want to do in this specific instant, uh, you could do a direct dial or a direct message. So you could add, you know, Sally Sue or, or you know, whoever, or, you know, Jiminy Cricket, uh, if you want to. You could direct message them, direct dial them. So it'll, it'll open the dialogue uh, to dial them or to message them. And then the next one is um, <clears throat> you could also do uh, your favorite... Um, your favorite, you know, like um, bookmarks and whatnot. So you just go into the bookmarks and then um, you can choose from your bookmarks. It's a bookmarks for the default browser. So just keep that in mind if there's any that you want to add to the home screen. Um, another cool one that uh, many people don't know, it seems, is uh, folders. If you uh, just uh, hold on a open space again, click on folders. Oh, that's widgets. All right, let's go back there for one second. All right, so I'm holding again. I'm going to folders, and here we could make a new folder. Um, I have an app called AK Notepad where I have a bunch of, you know, just random notes that I'll jot down. Uh, so that's pretty cool that has that in there. You can put all contacts, Bluetooth, contacts with phone numbers, uh, Pandora stations, um, some Wapedia stuff, which is like, um, you know, something for Wikipedia on your mobile. Uh, so you can make a new folder, and you could pretty much put anything you want in there. It could be all links. Uh, you could even edit the name if you want to, which is pretty cool. So you know, hey, this is, you know, uh, people from work or, or what have you. And then uh, next tip is for file management. Uh, make it a snap. Uh, a very popular one is called Astro. I use one called File Expert. Uh, what's cool about File Expert is if you have Super User or if you have uh, Root on your phone, um, it's going to allow you to get into like the nitty gritty of the file system in there. So this is uh, you'll you'll be able to access. It's not for everybody uh, for that specific feature, but whether you're rooted or not, it does do cool things. Um, you could uh, take a look at the network. You could take a look at uh, apps that are installed. Uh, you could also um, turn your phone into a FTP or uh, just web sharing like um, or you could even do uh, through Bluetooth uh, but what the web sharing does is it gives you a URL where you could access um, you know everything that's on your phone sort of like a file browser um, and you could do this from any browser at home if you do FTP sharing you could just use any FTP client and uh, you could also make shortcuts so that's pretty cool and with the Bluetooth, this is if you have another Bluetooth device, uh, possibly your laptop or netbook, and you want to share files that way. So it makes sharing the files, if you don't have a USB cable with you, makes it super easy. Uh, so that's why I love it. Also lets you do a lot of crazy things. Uh, you can look for network shares and, and things of that nature. You can add certain folders to favorites. Um, has some um, nice functionality stuff built in there, as you can see. Um, and then for the next tip, uh, we also have um, 
You might not know this, but if you have an iPod or something like that and you want to sync your music, um, you could do so uh, using something called Double Twist. It's able to sync uh, your iTunes music and playlist um, and pretty much all your music on your computer, whether it's on iTunes or not, you could do so uh, from within Android. I actually don't use iTunes, so I don't have that installed. Um, I just drag and drop and then I use uh, Power Amp. Basically, uh, Power Amp lets me do everything based on folders. Uh, so I'll do a, a more in-depth review on Power Amp uh, for music. But remember, Double Twist is if you have iTunes or anything similar like that and you want to manage your music. Uh, another cool thing is if you use Google Voice, you could send free text messages. Um, you could also, um, especially since we're on Android, it's obviously a Google product. So they integrate it very well. You can have all your voicemail go into there. Uh, voicemails transcribed. Um, many times um, I have prepaid service. Sometimes I forget you know, to pay. It's not that I don't have the money or something, but sometimes it's just so busy, I, I just totally forget. So maybe I'm a few hours or a day without phone service. I still have internet connectivity, so I can still text people and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, the voicemails, like I said, are transcribed. Um, and you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. You could uh, change your number, you know, you could have a Google Voice number. So that's pretty cool. Um, whoops. We'll have to edit that out. And um, then uh, another cool thing is um, if you have internet connectivity, uh, you could uh, use something called Fringe. Fringe allows you to use. Um, it's basically like unbuild phone calls. You could uh, use Skype uh, to make phone calls through it. You could use Google Talk uh, to make uh, phone calls. And also SIP. Uh, SIP is, you know, something like a Magic Jack or, you know, they have SIP boxes. Uh, basically, it acts as a SIP gateway and allows you, you know, to dial SIP numbers. So if you have um, anybody that you know that uses Skype, Google Talk or has, um, you know, a SIP number, you could dial them without paying for any minutes. So that's pretty cool, especially with all the locations that have free Wi-Fi nowadays. Um, then uh, we have um, a pretty cool app, which I'm sure a lot of people will appreciate. It's called Dial Zero. And what Dial Zero allows you to do is basically um, you could search for uh, different big companies um, that you call and you know it's usually a hassle to, to get in touch with them. Uh, so it'll allow you to get directly to who you need to speak with without going through the operator or the stupid tree menus. Um, you know, yesterday I was trying to call Verizon and I kept on pressing zero and it's like, you know, you don't have to press zero, you could just tell me. Well, I'm pressing zero so I don't have to tell you anything. So, uh, you know, dial zero is definitely the way to go. Um, it has something pretty cool called um, most, what is it? Oh, head to head, not most anything, but it does like head to head stuff, so that's pretty cool. Um, you know, for who has the best service and whatnot. So it's a pretty cool app. It's called Dial Zero. Um, you know, check it out on the Android Market. Uh, another cool one is uh, Keep uh, Annoying Callers Away by routing them directly to your uh, voicemail. And uh, the first is to open up the person's profile in your contacts list, which I don't want to do here because. I don't want to reveal my contact list at the moment. Uh, but basically what you're doing is uh, once you're in the contact list, you're hitting the menu button. And then from the menu button, you're going to go to options and then you're going to uh, check um, the uh, incoming uh, calls to voicemail. It's going to be a little box. You just check that. And then anytime that person calls, uh, it's going to go directly to voicemail, which makes it pretty awesome feature. And then, um, also, uh, very important, secure your phone. My phone is not that secure. I just hit menu twice and then I have access to everything on my phone, which is not cool. So, in order to secure it, we have a couple of different options for Android. So, let me just, uh, I'm going to go to menu and then I'm going to hit settings. And from there, we are going to go to location and security. From there, we're going to set up uh, where it says screen lock. Now you can also set up a SIM uh, card lock and when you do that, it's going to lock your SIM card with a PIN number. So let's say you restart your phone, uh, they're not going to be able to make any phone calls or send any text or use the internet or do anything that requires you, you, know, you to connect to T-Mobile, AT&T, Simple Mobile, whoever you use. 
Um, so that's pretty cool. I used to have that set up, but then I just got lazy. Uh, so we're gonna go to a uh, setup, um, you know, a pattern. You do a pattern, a pin, or a password. I'm just gonna do a pattern. You know, it's gonna explain it, how it works and whatnot. It's pretty simple. You just pick whatever pattern and then I uh, just hit continue. It's gonna ask you to do it again. I think this was it. Confirm. Cool, so I don't wanna use that anymore. So we're just gonna do that. Then for the next tip, um, it's to activate the Android power strip. Uh, now, I have a different one because I'm running Cyanogen mod, but we could do that. You go to widgets. Uh, Android is gonna have, uh, the stock Android is gonna have a more basic one. If you're running like a HTC Sense phone, it might have a slightly different uh, power meter as well. Obviously, depending on what kind of apps you install, they're all gonna have different widgets. Um, as you can see in the home screen that I'm in, um, you know, I have a Bitcoin related widget. Uh, but we're gonna go to power control. And then what's pretty cool about the Cyanogen mod one is that it gives you options on what you want to include, uh, which makes it very handy, especially if you want to, uh, easy access to uh, what you're going to be controlling. Uh, but uh, when you're on stock Android, it's just going to provide a basic one. Uh, but the basic one is pretty cool. It has more options than this one over here. So this has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, that sound. So uh, the stock ones could be something similar, might have an option or two more. And uh, that'll help you a lot uh, if you want to disable battery killers like GPS, um, you know, screen, um, Wi-Fi, all that good stuff. <clears throat> and then um, if you're as fortunate as I am and you have a QWERTY keyboard, the most amazing thing in the world is this little keyboard. It makes the phone that much better. Uh, a cool thing you could do is uh, we could do um, basically shortcuts um, or uh, what do they call them? Yeah, they're like keyboard shortcuts um, and I believe you could do that through applications if I'm not mistaken. Let me just make sure. Yes, it's under applications then quick launch. And uh, you could assign, um, you know, if you want to open up the browser, you hold the search key and then B, contact search key and C. You could assign different applications, which is pretty cool. They have for email, uh, calendar. They have a whole bunch of stuff that you can set here. You could really go wild and make yourself that much more efficient. So that's pretty cool to have, especially if you have a keyboard. Um, you know, another one is uh, to delete any apps that you don't use. If you have something like File Expert, uh, File Expert uh, has a way to um, uninstall apps. If you don't have a uh, file expert, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit menu. You're gonna go to settings again. And then we're gonna go down to applications again, which we were just at. And then we're gonna go to manage applications. Now, these are gonna be all the apps that you downloaded over here where it says downloaded. So anything you downloaded is gonna show up over here. Now, if you do all, this is gonna show some system apps as well as uh, some random stuff. So you might not be able to uninstall everything, uh, but you should be able to install anything that's bloated and you don't use, um, especially if you don't use it that often, you know, uh, don't do it. Um, and then we have uh, pretty cool, uh, this is one of my favorite things. If you're running um, anything before Froyo, um, pretty much all the Android versions have this, but you're gonna hold the home key and then it's gonna do the last eight apps that you um, had. This is on Froyo. So if you're on Froyo, which is 2.3, um, it's gonna have eight. If you're on a stock Android that's um, uh, anything below Froyo, um, it's gonna show only four. But on the Android, it has eight. If you have Cyanogen mod, you could adjust that and you could get even more out of it. Um, and then, let's see. Oh, another cool thing is you could Let's go into here. We go into settings and um, there's some like display animations and, and things of that nature that we could get rid of. So we're gonna go into um, display over here. And uh, you see they have like auto rotate screen. They have animations here. So I have all animations set. If you have a slower or older phone, you could hit no animations and uh, you should see a marked improvement 
and just um, how it reacts to everything because it doesn't have to draw those uh, animations. And then we have something um, which uh, if you have a phone that has its flash enabled, uh, now iPhones, they're not going to have this problem because they don't have flash. So, you know, thankfully we have this. So if you go into the phone and uh, we hit, um, well, let's just go into any browser. Um, this is on the stock browser on something like Opera. It's always going to have a setting if we go into settings. And if we go into advanced, whoops, that's privacy. If we go into advanced, it's going to have a doubly flash. So it's going to say click to play, disable or enable. You can disable it. You could click to play or you can enable it. So if you're not on a, a flash site, um, like a video site or something like that, that's not YouTube. Uh, you know, it just loads it up. It lets you know that it's a video file or a video flash. You just hit play. Um, and um, you know, it loaded up. This makes loading the page much faster and much smoother. And um, that's pretty much it. You know, um, if you um, let's uh, just first of all, uh, for the tips uh, for bringing it to us, let's thank our sponsors. You know, first of all, Mezzy Grill, uh, M E Z E Grill dot com, uh, where Mediterranean flavor meets um, or Mediterranean food meets modern flavor. Uh, uh, Eight there, uh, they have great hummus, it's amazing. Um, they have a whole bunch of different kinds of foods. Um, you get in line, you get served really quick. Um, they, are, they accept Bitcoin, uh, which if you don't know what that is, check it out. They're now serving breakfast. They're just a couple blocks south of the very famous Columbus Circle. So if you're ever in the area, check it out. And uh, they have worldwide franchising opportunities available. It doesn't matter where you are worldwide. If you want to open your own Mezzi Grill, uh, you could certainly do so. And it's also brought to you by Carpe VM. That's C-A-R-P-E-V-M.com. Seize your market, say it with video. Uh, Charlie from Carpe VM, he'll be with you every step of the way to build up your image. Anything that has to do with your brand, your icon, uh, whatever you want to push out there. Uh, Charlie has a very creative mind and he'll walk you through the steps that you need to build that image, to build that brand. So check them out, Carpe VM. It's video on the web, ideal way to engage your viewers. Um, so, um, hope you found these tips very helpful. Um, you know, uh, another thing that we implemented uh, site-wide for uh, all our shows is podcasting. So if you have iTunes um, on your Android phone, on your PC, subscribe. Uh, you can subscribe through email as well. Um, you know, email us, uh, android at onlyonetv.com if you have uh, any uh, questions, any suggestions, or anything like that, Only One TV, of course, is spelled out, and that's uh, Android Invasion at Only One TV. I apologize about that. Uh, so, Android Invasion at Only One TV uh, to check us out. Uh, subscribe through your podcaster. Uh, you know, check out the podcast. If, if uh, you can't watch the video, you could download the video as well. Uh, so, check all of that out, and we'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Thank you.